the heart of the show. I mean, this this space specifically. I mean, it's where we meet the boys. It's sort of where they do all of their plotting and planning, and you know, it's a little time capsule of sort of seventies, eighties ephemera. I mean, everything from like our thing poster to the D and D, and I mean, you know, you can kind of feel the old. This is like the the furniture that used to be in the living room, and now it's kind of like found its place here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we try to represent like each of the each of the you know, uh, family members, and you see, like, Dad's got his space over there, and obviously the boys have their thing, and, you know, Mom's got her kind of situation back in here. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just, this is inspired directly from every basement, you can, I feel like it's the archetypal sort of, like, you know, late 70s, early 80s, mm -hmm. American suburban basement. Um, yeah. Was all of this acquired from Atlanta? <laughs> it was, yeah. Atlanta's been really great to us as far as that goes. It's really, uh, we did a lot of estate sailing. My uh, set decorator, Jess Royal, has been really fastidious about going, you know, to real places uh, and essentially you walk into a time capsule of a home that maybe hasn't changed since like the 60s or 70s. Um, and we just bought out a number of them, which is how we've kind of got this really, uh, you know, true life layer of, you know, which to me is what really, you know, what really makes you feel like you're walking into to a lived-in authentic space. You know? mm -hmm. So yeah, Atlanta's been uh, pretty amazing for that. There's just fantastic thrift stores, fantastic antique stores, and I mean, estate sales above all else. You know, I mean, it's pretty great. What's been your hardest article to come by, as far as being genuine? <laughs> I don't, you know, we really didn't have. We really found everything that we were looking for in terms of just like color, tone, texture, the whole thing. I mean, it, it, was, it was really all here. It was just a matter of time and, and searching. Lamps are always, you know, just generally uh, I'm very particular about them. So those are, mm -hmm. you know, they take time and hunting. But, yeah, we really didn't have too hard of a time about finding everything that we wanted. What was your timetable for it? Um, well, all the sets come together simultaneously. Well, you know, we, we, we've got, like, we had the majority of the scripts, which is uncommon in television, we were lucky to have, you know, to know more or less what we were up against in terms of, like, all of the sets that we were going to have to do, and we started with all the major stuff, which were our standing sets, which was the Wheeler House, which was basement, first floor, second floor, and the Buyer House, which we'll see in a minute, and the lab, and those sets probably from, you know, conception to, you know, putting the last paint on them was, that was in the neighborhood of, like, a month and a half. We have a really good construction paint crew here, so yeah. that's another great thing about Atlanta, actually. We, we found some really good crew. So, yeah. But, you know, we're also simultaneously doing all of our all of our uh, practical locations out in the world. So it's kind of hard to say, like, you know, we, we weren't focused, sure. you know, yeah. kind of doing everything all at once, uh, as opposed to just one set, you know, then the next. Was there a certain thing that you found that you kind of geeked out over, like super excited that you found it and didn't expect to? so much stuff. I mean, you know, I, I actually, um, I grew up in the 80s, so this is all like, you know, very much like, it, it's very nostalgic for me. So yeah, I mean, we literally found like, I probably re-bought like half of the toys from my childhood, which was amazing. I mean, they had like He-Man, I have like every He-Man I ever wanted as a kid but didn't have, every G.I. Joe. I mean, it was really, that was probably the, the funnest part. I mean, you know, I was these kids. I'm a little younger than, you know, than they would be today, you know, but uh, yeah, so the early 80s was kind of the beginning of my memory, you know what I mean? So definitely all of the, like, all the toys and, and all that stuff. Cool. Did you have to get agreements for a majority of the things that you're showing on camera? Yeah, or? Netflix was actually pretty, uh, they, they really played ball and they really were behind us in terms mm -hmm. of, like, helping us, you know, get our clearances and, you know, we got all the, all the you know, important products, Coke and all the stuff in the kitchen. Um, but yeah, Dungeons and Dragons obviously was a big one. It's kind of like a central element in the boys' world. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll be here. Universal Pictures was really great. They helped us out with a lot of stuff, a lot of cool movie posters. Um, uh, we got a little bit of Star Wars stuff, which was really a big deal. Um, that was a little bit of a finagling. Um, Marvel is helping us out, you know, maybe because of the Netflix connection, I think. Uh, but yeah, we, we've, we really did get most everything we wanted or needed to kind of do what we were trying to do in terms of getting the period correct. And I mean, this movie is very much like, it's very pop culture referential. I mean, it really, you know, these, we're all kind of, we're all kind of geeks in the way that we wanted to like pay proper 
homage to you know yeah. the early '80s and, and all the movies that inspired this film, you know, so or this show. Since you said you kind of grew up in this, was there any sort of collaboration or, or um, anything you saw like after you got the scripts that you said, oh, you know, I think this might fit better, or I think, or you just found a piece and you're like, well, this piece really needs to be in there because it's such important, or like anything like that? Yeah, I mean, fortunately, the, the Duffer Brothers they really they really know the world that they were trying to create. They're like incredibly, you know. They're very comprehensive in, in sort of the way that they approach all of this and creating the world and stuff, but they're also super collaborative. And uh, we're pretty, I mean, you know, we're peers, and we had a very, we came to this with a very, like, you know, a shared vision of, of how all this should look and feel. So, yeah, I mean, they were really open to anywhere where I felt like, oh, like, maybe we should put this poster here, or maybe we need to kind of, like, get this toy or, or, or this, you know, this style of design in this space. You know, anything that they might not have, considered they're always open to and excited about sort of incorporating you know as much sort of yeah as much creative input as, as anybody had they're always really like they're always really collaborative so yeah there's a lot of instances of well maybe this should go here or this should go there and, and in a lot of cases they were even willing to sort of sometimes build build a scene around sort of where we wanted to place something or, or what object or what piece of furniture you know they're, they're really great like that actually You guys want to check out the other sets or did you already help me here and explain the